Hello, teacher. Hello, back again. Por favor, dígame que no me perdí el listening. No, here, here we come. One more time. Ay, Dios, gracias. Gracias, ti. <laughs> okay, so while everyone is getting in. Um, Hello. Back again, Mr. Diego. Who, who is it? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so Diego Isaac. Good. Kevin is here. Barbara is here. <clears throat> Sebastian Ponce is here. Robert is here. I know. Kevin, Barbara, Sebastian. Roberto, Espinosa Triay, Tamara Renata, Denis, Brittany, Peter, Dani, Leti. Ay, Fernando Daniel Chavero. I remember Max, Rosa Valerie. Heather Vladimir is here. Ay. Fabián Coronado. Namaskar, Sebastián, Instagram, Ingrid, Carolina, Ángel Venegas, Adriana. What happened to Santiago Sarachaga? Very nice here. Mm -hmm.
Okay, guys. <clears throat> Ready for this listening? So you have to note down all this information. How old was each person when they wrote their first app? How much is it? How many people downloaded per week? And here, guys, we need to check the information each speaker is saying. Yes, of course, Vale. And what can you do in the app? Okay, so all of this information you have to note down there. Obviously, you are listening twice. One, two, three. Track 81. I'm 14 now, and I wrote my first app when I was 11. It's a physics puzzle called Catch the Ball. There are 56 levels, and you get different things to help you complete each level, like nets and wheels and pieces of wood. It costs 99p, and it's still quite popular. About 100 people a week download it. I've got lots of ideas for new games too. I'm 16 and I wrote my first app with a friend last year when I was 15. I got the idea when I was studying for a test and I needed to organize my work. You write a list of all the jobs you have to do into the app and then it helps you remember to do them and not be late with everything. It costs £1.50 to download. Some people say it's too expensive, but I don't agree. 30 people a week download it. I'm still working on it. There's always something to improve. I'm 15 and the apps I write are all educational and they are all free. The first one I made was when I was 12. It's all about geography and teaches young children about the countries of the world. Around 70 people a week download it. It has information and quizzes so you can test yourself. At the moment, I have 18 apps that people can download and lots of ideas for more. Para el primer ejercicio nada más. How old is speaker one? Robert, Robert, how old is speaker one? Nobody got it? Speaker two? Uh, can you repeat, sorry? 11. 11, let 11. me see. Yourself. Eleven, exactly. Speaker two. Fifteen. Fifteen is okay. And speaker three. Sorry. 12, okay, 12, okay, one more time. How much is it? Listen. Track 81. I'm 14 now and I wrote my first app when I was 11. It's a physics puzzle called Catch the Ball. There are 56 levels and you get different things to help you complete each level, like nets and wheels and pieces of wood. It costs 99p and it's still quite popular. About 100 people a week download it. I've got lots of ideas for new games too. I'm 16 and I wrote my first app with a friend last year when I was 15. I got the idea when I was studying for a test and I needed to organize my work. 
you write a list of all the jobs you have to do into the app and then it helps you remember to do them and not be late with everything. It costs £1.50 to download. Some people say it's too expensive, but I don't agree. 30 people a week download it. I'm still working on it. There's always something to improve. I'm 15 and the apps I write are all educational and they are all free. The first one I made was when I was 12. It's all about geography and teaches young children about the countries of the world. Around 70 people a week download it. It has information and quizzes so you can test yourself. At the moment, I have 18 apps that people can download and lots of ideas for more. Okay, speaker one, how much is it? You don't know how much is the first app? Come on, guys, this is the first time all the group is quiet. Repeat, please. How much? 100. 100, not really. Yes, Max. No, not really. No, Kevin, no, Robert. Espinosa no. Triay. No. Ninety nine P. Speaker two, how much is the app? Speaker two. One fifty. Okay, one fifty pounds. Great. Speaker three. No? For free, speaker three. Come on, guys. How many people download it per week? Listen. Track 81. I'm 14 now, and I wrote my first app when I was 11. It's a physics puzzle called Catch the Ball. There are 56 levels, and you get different things to help you complete each level, like nets and wheels and pieces of wood. It costs 99p and is still quite popular. About 100 people a week download it. I've got lots of ideas for new games too. I'm 16 and I wrote my first app with a friend last year when I was 15. I got the idea when I was studying for a test and I needed to organize my work. You write a list of all the jobs you have to do into the app and then it helps you remember to do them and not be late with everything. It costs £1.50 to download. Some people say it's too expensive, but I don't agree. 30 people a week download it. I'm still working on it. There's always something to improve. I'm 15 and the apps I write are all educational and they are all free. The first one I made was when I was 12.
It's all about geography and teaches young children about the countries of the world. Around 70 people a week download it. It has information and quizzes so you can test yourself. At the moment, I have 18 apps that people can download and lots of ideas for more. Okay, guys, how many people download it? Speaker one. 100. Perfect. Speaker two. Thirty. Thirty. Perfect. Speaker three. Seventy. So, yes. Seventy people. Good solution, Kevin, and the rest too. Okay, and the last one. What can you do on the app? Okay, what is the app for? For playing, for investigating? I don't know. You select. One, two, three. Track 81. I'm 14 now, and I wrote my first app when I was 11. It's a physics puzzle called Catch the Ball. There are 56 levels, and you get different things to help you complete each level, like nets and wheels and pieces of wood. It costs 99p and it's still quite popular. About 100 people a week download it. I've got lots of ideas for new games too. I'm 16 and I wrote my first app with a friend last year when I was 15. I got the idea when I was studying for a test and I needed to organize my work. You write a list of all the jobs you have to do into the app and then it helps you remember to do them and not be late with everything. It costs £1.50 to download. Some people say it's too expensive, but I don't agree. 30 people a week download it. I'm still working on it. There's always something to improve. I'm 15 and the apps I write are all educational and they are all free. The first one I made was when I was 12. It's all about geography and teaches young children about the countries of the world. Around 70 people a week download it. It has information and quizzes so you can test yourself. At the moment, I have 18 apps that people can download and lots of ideas for more. Okay. So what can you do with the app, speaker one? What can you do with the app? Nothing, you can play video games, you can search. What can you do? <clears throat> you can play. Okay. Apostle. Yes, Apostle. Okay. Okay, Reina, don't worry. Let me see. Play a physics game. Speaker two. Oh. Speaker two. No? Make a list of your jobs. Okay, Vale Rojas, no, not really. And speaker three? Learn geography. Learn about geography. 
Good. Students, you need more, okay? You need more of this. So you copy? Yes. Great. Okay. Writing an email. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, we will skip this exam of writing. Yes. Um, this one I'll do it with you next Monday. Okay, next Monday. What now I, I ask you to do is take your workbook out. Your workbook. Okay, so close down the students and let's take out your workbook. What page? Give me a moment. It's because I don't have physically your book and I have to wait until the system responds for these books. Okay. It's coming out. Just wait up for a couple of seconds. <laughs> Here is it. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Okay, here is it, guys. Somebody mentioned when I was asking what was your favorite website, somebody mentioned YouTube. Well, here you have it. Page 42 and 43. Reading skills. Yes, reading skills. <laughs> Number one, read the article quickly. What kind of videos are popular on YouTube? Okay, what kind of videos are popular in YouTube? Okay, so we have right there this one, two, three, four readings, but only the one and two have some spaces. They have six spaces. Okay, so what is the objective now? Okay, that you complete these spaces with the correct words in exercise two. So exercise one and exercise two are together. Correct? So select uh, select what the correct word is and then we will check i'm going to give you five minutes like a lot
Of course, eh, Spinoza, Triay. Okay, guys, so you read the four paragraphs. According to these four paragraphs, what kind of videos are popular on YouTube? What are the popular videos on YouTube according to the text? Music videos. Music, uh-huh. Number two. Uh, funny videos. Fun videos. Uh huh. And number three. Children's or pets. Children's videos. Okay. So these are your answers. Let's check if they are correct. Music, number one correct. Funny, yes. And children and pets, excellent. Yes, good solution. Next activity, you complete two paragraphs with some words. Okay, so here we are. Okay. YouTube is the name of one of the most popular sites on the What did you select? On the? On the web. On the web. Continue reading. People watch and share millions of videos on the site. A young man, a young American man. What is the number two? Upload. Upload. Upload the Upload. first video onto YouTube in April 2005. It was a short film of his friend at the zoo. 
Now, every month visitors to the site watch about 6 billion, 6, 6 billion or 1,000 million hours of YouTube videos. This is, answer three. This is, Probably. Probably because it has so many different sorts of videos. When you, search. search, when you search for a topic online, there is usually at least one. Link. link to a YouTube on the first of the sites to click on. After each YouTube video, you can post. post a message telling other people what you think of it, okay? So let's check if your answers, if your answers are correct. Okay, number one, web, correct. Number two, upload, correct. Three, probably, correct. Four, search, correct. Five, link, correct and six, post. Perfect students, good exercise solution. Okay, read paragraphs three and four to the text again, then complete sentences with one word or number. I am going to read paragraphs three and four. The most popular kind of videos on YouTube are music videos. Every time you look on the site, the numbers change but in December 2017, the most popular music video was of a song called Despacito by Luis Fonsi. More than 4 million people watch it before the end of 2017. Funny videos and children and pets are also very popular on YouTube. One of the most popular is, is called Charlie Bit Me. It has a young boy, Harry, and a baby brother, Charlie, in it. The baby hurts the boy a little and then laughs. Howard Davis Ken, the father of the boy, made the video in 2007 and put it on YouTube for the grandfather to see. Millions of people love watching the video and though it was funny in 2017, Howard made another video of his two sons saying the same words. Okay, so according to what you read in exercise, sorry, paragraphs three and four, complete the sentences with one word or number.
Ready? <laughs> okay, the number one. What is the answer number one? Videos are more popular than any other kind of video on YouTube. Music. Music. Videos are more popular, excellent. The popular video of Luis Fonsi was the most popular YouTube video in? In? December? December 2017. In Charlie Beat Me, Charlie's brother is called? Is called? Come on, guys. Harry? Harry. Charlie's father want Charlie's grandfather. Grandfather to see the video. Howard made the second video of the boys in in 2017 2017 okay guys that's it for today we finished today have a nice weekend enjoy it and well remember saturday 11 o'clock physical education class at home with your family bye teacher bye thank you bye teacher bye enjoy See you, teacher.